With this portion of the design, it looks like um, that if we go into the angle view and we look at those areas that um, you'd like to change, um, what it has done is actually created a kind of uh, a cut line, if you will, because it sees a segment kind of going in a different direction. If we want to eliminate that and um, and have all the stitch directions going the same way, what we have to do is kind of go through and um, uh, you know divide it up and kind of force the direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the outline view. So I click on outline view. Then I am going to go to, uh, I right click inside the area. We're going to go to divide with line. And we're going to divide it right where that cut line was made on the other piece. So I'm kind of go like that. And then, um, so I make my two points, make my other two points, and then press enter. Press escape to get out of the tool. I'll right click off to the side so now you can see that this segment is kind of one. We'll go in here and we'll also make this completely straight because this might be seen as a little bit of a segment that's going in a different direction. So we'll go to adjust with the line and we'll stop, uh, start here and here, left click, start here and here and left click. What I've done is I'm making that completely straight I'll right click to deselect the tool and we'll go ahead and hit go. Once I do that you'll notice um, that my stitch angles are, there's, there's nothing going in uh, kind of off offset or having any kind of cut line. So I can take those stitch angles and move them completely across like that, like this, and like this. Now I still have these two little pieces here. I'm going to right click off this side, go ahead and regenerate. And now we'll go back to that stitch angle view and you can see the stitch angles are all going in one direction. But what we have to do is kind of make this serif part. So I'm going to go to the outline view. I'm going to go to the edit outline mode, left click. And I'm going to take um, the outline, left click and move points and add points. And then I will take this one, left click here, left click hold and drag. And then we'll go back, before I generate stitches, I'll go back to the view angle and see how we can actually take that and go all the way across. And here we'll go across here, go across there, right click off to the side. Now you have these two little pieces uh, as well as the big piece. So what we'll do first is go ahead and generate stitches uh, and then we will, I'm going to right click hold and drag around that first small piece and do a control delete. Right click hold and drag the second small piece, control delete. So now if you look at it that has stitching going all the way across. We'll do the same for these legs and we'll go to the outline view. I'll go to the edit outline mode. First I'm going to go ahead and overlap this into the other segment and this one too. Uh, now with this one we'll go to outline or you can right click inside that area. We'll go to divide with line, left click, left click, press enter to end inputting, press escape, right click off to the side. Let's go ahead and select this. I'm going to make this completely straight so I'm going to delete this point right click hold and drag on that red line, hit go, and you can see now we have stitch angles going in that direction. We'll then go back to the outline view, edit outline mode, I'll go ahead and make a point here, go ahead and drag this all the way over. After I drag that all the way over I then go to my outline view, or I'm sorry my angle view, and we can go ahead and add a stitch direction guideline for here and we'll move that. Actually before I generate I'll just take this little piece that we cut off and control delete. Now when we generate the stitches you can see that they are going to go straight across. Same thing for over here 
again we'll go to um, divide with a line. So we're kind of forcing this to have um, for, forcing it to have the angles that we want it to have. So we'll go to edit outline mode. I'll just delete that. Let's first generate our stitches. Then we'll go in, back to the outline view, edit outline mode. And go ahead and bring that over. Go to the uh, angle mode. Make our angles. Add stitch direction guideline. I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. Then we'll go ahead and hit go. Right click off to the side. You have that little piece back there and control delete. So we'll go ahead and regenerate and we can see that now they're going straight across just like the eye here.